<laughs> Typed them out. Riz. <laughs> riz, riz, riz. riz. <laughs> I instructed Riz, and then their mom puts it on the fridge. <laughs> We're going to be doing Gen Z versus Boomer lingo slash slang spelling bee slash dictionary guessing slash origin slash slash welcome back to jupiter city How's everyone it going? yeah we know we went all out with this uh what's yes. it called costume apparel yes this you didn't, fit you didn't, cost you didn't change much three thousand million luckily dollars. this was together put it on in two seconds because i always got my suit and tie i'm gonna be something to that's do. way too modern for you old oh. man oh sorry i yeah. don't know that song yeah you should really be singing that hokey pokey or something like yeah when did that even happen? No idea. Who in, who was the first Hokey Pokier? No, I don't even know what it means. I don't even want to say it. And how does it relate to Pokemon? Because... <laughs> how does it relate? That's a good question. There has to be some sort of... Where did Pokemon come from? Pokey. Oh, yeah, Pokey. What do you... What, yeah, what? what is Pokey? Yeah, that's true. And how does that relate? Is Pokemon... Is Pokey meat? Do they, can you have meat options in Pokey? Oh my gosh, yeah, you can. Oh my gosh. Conspiracy theory number 5,421. Pokey bowls, if served with meat, are made with Pokemon. <laughs> oh, I, I wish I said Digimon. <laughs> Digimon. <laughs> that would have been funny. <laughs> okay, well, uh, you have reached your most senile state uh -huh. with that conspiracy theory. I'm probably already a boomer. So this is a good time for me to pounce and tell you about all these lingo that you will not understand because my generation has handcrafted these. Hand handcrafted. Gen Z hasn't handcrafted a thing. They handcrafted these words. They were like... No, no way. Typed them out. Riz. <laughs> riz, riz, riz. Riz. <laughs> I instructed Riz, and uh -huh. then their mom puts it on the fridge with a magnet. Yeah. Oh, this is nonsense what we're doing right now. Okay. Uh, do you want to go first? Do you want me to go first? You go first. Let's okay. hear it. Let's hear it, Gen Z. Pla. <laughs> what did you say? Pla. Huh? Pla. <laughs> no way. Are these real words that people use? Oh, it gets worse. Yeah. Pla. Oh my gosh. Okay, what is Gen Z? I'm like a mix between millennial and Gen yeah. Z, I think. So I should... Suck. No. No? Wait, am I Gen Z? I'm am like, I actually Gen Z? I think you are. But you're like a late... You're like a later... Oh, crap. I didn't, I didn't yeah. realize this. I'm... I'm like a borderline type of thing. Maybe you're borderline as well. Maybe we both don't have a generation. So, okay. Can we unsubscribe from generations? Can we do that? Do I have to wear these? Whole yeah. Time? Can I like? Gonna... Can I buy a new generation? You know, like the, you know, like that ch blue check mark on Twitter. Yeah. Uh -huh. Can I just buy myself into a new generation? I don't... Ten dollars a month. I don't see a problem that with that. That is a great idea. That's a pyramid it's... scheme. That's like a pyramid scheme it seems like a pyramid scheme how we're gonna get you to subscribe to this generation if you don't want to be a millennial you want to be a boomer here you go you are now officially a boomer is there here's a... your boomer magazine and you get five dollars off if you convert another boomer is there somewhere uh, where it says legally that i'm gen z your birthday okay yes but i mean legally is there anywhere in a document that's like Gen Z, where I can about... read the words Gen Z. Oh, no. Of course okay, not. Okay, good. Because yeah. I... Well, generations are constantly being do do find. Wow. De defined. Do find is a boomer term. You wouldn't oh, know. Oh, yeah. They're constantly being defined, right? Okay. So, so I don't know. It's well, then like, I think... There's probably like a five-year moving window. I think my particular age, 25, should be... <laughs> You're 25? <laughs> Obviously. Then you're not Gen Z. I'm joking. I'm not 25. I didn't think so. Am I? This is the first time I've realized that I'm Gen Z. You are mature for a 12-year-old. The people that I'm making fun of are me. That's so sad. That is, yeah. What the heck I is mean, wrong with you? You chose this. 
Well, anyway, we have this word in our generation. Pla. Spell it for me. Now, boomer. Oh. Pla. Call me boomy, please. Boom, boom. No, boomy. Uh, P-L-A. Nope. Duh. Wrong. Uh, can you say it again? Pla. Would you like me to use it in a sentence? Yes, please. Use it in a sentence. Uh, so, yeah, that's basically the end of the story. Pla. Oh, my gosh. It's just an extra word you add to a sentence. Yeah. Is it like bruh? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. P-L-A-H. Like no. Oh, P-L-U-H. Yes, P-L-U-H. Ew, Blah. it's gross. I don't like it. Yeah, so what does it mean? It's something you say when there's no other things left to say. So, like, someone asks you, hey, did you just commit tax invasion? Plug. You're just like, hey. It's like, I'm not saying anything? Plug. Conversation it's like stopper. Fill, it's like fill in the... It's just like, hey, man. Plot. It's a conversation stopper because no one knows what it means. So it's no, just like it's no, just. No, there's people. No. Originated from rap. There never was never this, heard this. There was this dude he, who, his name was. Mister Pla. B. Plugs. He Do, used it as a way to tag his music, and so people just used it or something. I don't like it. I wouldn't. I would never use it. Okay. How'd you well. Did you know be that using before? It all Did you time. know that before you looked it up? No, I had no clue. Oh, okay, so you you know that's like half of these words. Maybe you I don't... Ma- you made up these words. Yeah. All right, ready. All I'm saying is, blah. you ready for my word? Sure. All right, Gen Z, to the test, to the mound, to the batting cage. Okay. Zazzled. Zazzled. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that sounds like one of our words. Uh huh. Zazzled. Z a z o l d, zazzled. No, it could also be pronounced sussled, but sussled. I think it's typically zazzled. S o z o l d, no, sussled. No. Okay, what is it? Z o z z l e d. Z o z z l e. Or s o z z l e d. Interesting. Okay. Yep. You know what it means? Yeah, it means when you're going on a night on the town and you get a little bit tipsy. <laughs> Oh, close. really? <laughs> yeah. yeah, being extremely intoxicated or drunk. Wow. He got zazzled at the party last night. I just, I knew it. It sounds like it. It does kind yeah. of, yeah. Buzz. Yeah, anything Zaz. Anything with Z yeah. is... Nice. Wow, you are a true boomer. You're what a boomer. What can I say? Maybe I should pull my glasses down like a like yeah. the boomer I am. You're a boomer at heart. Yes, boom. A boomer in disguise. My heart is old. What is it? That's a um, old soul. I'm an old soul. Boomer at heart. New new term for old soul. My heart is going boom boom right now. Oh gosh. Okay. Cringy. Next up. Chugi. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound correct. Yeah, Chugi. Um Ew. I ew. know, yeah, that's a gross word. Why are these such gross words? C H O U G I E? No. C H E W I C H I No. C H O No. C H U C H E C H E W No. C H E Number U Okay. W but no idea. No double. C H E E, yeah. U, U, W. No. Oh gosh, I don't know. C H E U G I E. It's close. C H E U G Y. C H E U G Y. Oh my yeah. gosh. Shugi. I'm Are we sure, sure we're not like cursing up a storm? That's what I'm kind of saying. There's some of these words. That's not good. I don't want to ever know the definition. You don't know the definition? No, I know the definition. Mm, I know the but definition. But there's some of these words I hear, and I'm like, no, I'm, I'm going to stay as far away from that word as you, possible. Well, we're saying them now. And there's one word that I don't even want to say. Uh, we might have to censor this what, after I'm the not fact. Gonna, No, I didn't include it on the list. Oh, okay. I just, 
I've heard the definition, and I'm just like, yeah, okay, what, what that's saying, an okay saying, definition, but still, yeah. there's no way. I'm sure there's some dark undertones to that word. What if we're saying some really bad words? We just had yeah. no idea. So what's the, what's the we're definition? Uneducated. What's the definition of chuggy? Uh, nougat. No. Uh, nougat is an old person. You're thinking from your old person lens right now. No one has nougat nowadays. You never had a fig Newton? Yeah, but those are old. Yum. Figs? Figs are old and outdated. Figs are the best of the fruits. That you're lying to yourself. You never had a fig? I no, mm-hmm. I've never had a straight up fig. Oh man. Oh, my nose. Yum. <laughs> oh. Gen Z always sick. Gosh, weak immune systems. Yeah. Um, no idea. Idea a food a food that's kind of chewy. No, no, it's not food. I don't. I don't know. Uh, it, is it is it a joint like something no, like that? No, no, no. no. Okay. It could be used to describe uh, uh, figs. Oh no. Do we want to take an intermission? We have we have the ability to edit this. No, we don't. And we're back. Filled my nose with gasoline to help it stay clean. Okay, so Chugi. Oh, my nose. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'll just get straight to the point. Yeah, just tell me what it is because I'm not going to get it. Out of touch and not trendy. Oh, well, that word is out of touch. Yes. So, essentially, let me put my glasses on. You are not a boomer. Chugi is an American neologism coined in 2013 as a performative description of lifestyle trends associated with the early 2010. That's messed up. Yeah, I'm not... Do you know what a neologism is? No. A new language? Oh, wow. Probably. It, Latin. <laughs> yeah, Latin. Yep. But, so if someone... Uh, I don't know. If someone's wearing, like, clout glasses, you remember those clout goggles? No. Oh, really? I barely know what the word clout means. Oh. Oh, wait. Is it popularity? Yeah. Okay, yeah. But, well, I got so much of that. Let's say... Clouting up my system. I don't know. Just anything... Think like the era of early YouTube, Rebecca Black. Yeah. Yeah, but I lived uh, that era. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was the... Yeah, so if you are... If you still have any of those characteristics, let's say you still dab, oh. or you do still whip or nay uh-huh. that is pretty chuggy in my opinion. So it's kind of gross. I don't think well, anyone that does it... Well, I mean, it's they're, it's... they're stuck in time. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. But uh, that's why it's chuggy. Don't like it. All right, we'll move on. You ready? Mm-hmm. Have you heard the term... You don't have to spell this. Have you heard the term cut a rug? Cuddle rug? <laughs> okay, try to spell it. <laughs> C-U-D-D-L-E-R-U-G. <laughs> oh, no. no. Cuddle rug. Have you heard the term cut a rug? Cut a rug? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh. C U T A R U G. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you heard cuddle rug? That's what you said. <laughs> no. Have you heard that term? Do you know uh, do you know what cut a rug means? I've not heard that. I assume it means slicing bread. <laughs> Tell me where you thought that from. Because bread has a similar texture to rugs, Whoa. and so <laughs> no. you're cutting it. It's like cutting uh, the cheese or something. <laughs> it's I don't cutting know. the cheese. Uh, what is that? Bread. When you are bread. walking on... Cut a rug. When you are walking on a rug, you compare like, it Give to, me a slice of that. I'm stuck on... You're comparing a rug to bread? If you're standing on a rug, you're like, you know, this kind of feels like bread. I think so, yeah. Yeah, it's... Very similar sensation. No. You've never stood on bread. How do you know? Who has stood on bread? Listen, I'm Gen Z. You don't know what I've done. Okay? <laughs> That's good. Uh, but, yeah, cut a rug. Okay. Give okay, me. I'm changing my definition. It means give me a slice of that pizza. <laughs> what? I'm fairly certain that's what it means. Why would you say that? Well... It just has to mean that. Like, it's, no, it okay. really doesn't. Okay, well then, explain. All right, do you want a sentence? Oh, yeah, give me a sentence, please. All right, well, first of all, uh, coined and around the night... Coined? Coined sure. yeah. around the 1930s. Somewhere, oh, somewhere around there. Wow. Yeah, it's probably 20s, boomer, 30s. Boomer, boomer, okay. I'm a boomer, man. You're like a boomer plus. 
You pay Boomer for that plus. extra subscription. After work, I'm beat, yet still ready to cut a rug. Whoa. Wait, <laughs> that's kind of empowering. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> I learned this just like two weeks ago. Okay, I guess cutting rugs are probably tough to do. So it means still being able to do something difficult. No. Oh, dang. Oh, he's still ready to party. Oh, actually, it says rag. Cut a rag. Or maybe I typoed. I'm still oh, ready. Wow, cut a rag, cut a rug. I think they use them interchangeably. Okay, explain. Um, think about your feet. How would you cut a rug with your feet? What? I'd stand on the rug with uh-huh. a pair of scissors and... With your feet. I'm I'm not going to cut a rug with my feet. Hey, okay. Hands in the air. If you had to cut a rug with your feet, how would you do it? Move my feet back and forth to shear the rug in half. Okay, move your feet back and forth. So dance. Yes. <laughs> still, still able to dance. Yes, to dance. Okay, in... well, I said party. That's similar. What? Yeah. What did you say party? Lay it back. Okay. To dance enthusiastically or skillfully. Okay. And I heard this term, like, like you know, dancing, right? But it was, like, oh. used as if it's a normal term. Oh, wow. I never heard it. So I don't know even who I heard it from. Mm-hmm. But the fact that they said it and they were, like, my age, they are not. They're, they're boomer in disguise. Boomer at heart. Yeah, they're paying. Cut a rug. They're paying for that boomer subscription. Yeah, exactly. They know. All right, next one. Well, that's kind of crazy. Isn't it? I'm not going to use it. Okay, this one I know you've heard. Bougie. Mm. Spell it, though. Must I spell bougie? Yes. B-O-U-G-G-I-E. No. B-O-U-G-I-E. No. Bougie. No. Bourgeoisie. Yeah, it's not. There's no G in it. What? Yeah. There's no G. (laughs) No way. Are you serious? I am dead serious. B O U C H I? B O U S S H I? No. no. <laughs> I have no idea. How do you spell it? B O U J E E. That's how you spell it? That's how you spell boo. Gosh, if I was more into like hip hop and rap, yeah. I, I would know that. Yeah, I so think. what does it mean though? I think I did know that's how you spell it. What does it mean? Yeah. Like fancy. Yeah, a high class yeah. materialistic person. It's just a derived from bourgeois. Exactly. Yeah. See, I know I know derivations. Der- I know that. That one's derivations. easy. Derivations. Derek Derek Vations. Who is that man? He's a vegetation. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, all right. Next one, next one. Um, oh, I had a joke. Mm, yeah, I have a joke too. <clears throat> I don't really like this one, so I'm just prefacing. Okay. Uh, bunkum. Bunkum? Yep. Wow, that's really close to a bad word. Is it? Yeah. Should we just cut this? No. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, bunkum. That means who cares? That's pretty close. <laughs> Do you know how to spell it? Yeah. B U N K E M. Close. K U M. That's the slang spelling, but I think it's also spelled B U N C O M B E. Wow. First Weird. recorded use 1820 in Congress. 1820. This this so boomer. Well, I told you I'm doing boomer and above. Oh. I'm boomer plus. Would that be boomer and above? I'm the boomiest. Or boomer and below. How do you how do you visualize generations? Is it like each generation stacks on top of one another? Yes, Gen Z's at the bottom. Oh, Gen Z's at the bottom. In my head. In my head, these generations stack on top of each other. Yes. Yeah, so Gen so, Z's so at the bottom. Gen Z is at the top. Each new generation stacks on top of the next one. Oh, see, no, I... And I, there's a foundation I, of... I, no, I I think... I think go, I go uh, top down. You go... You go down so you top. go like Homo sapiens. Yep. Mm-hmm. Ancient, ancient boomer. <laughs> and then I don't know Greece. Yeah, Do I... my favorite generation. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's the. No, no, we have different interpretations of time. We do. We because for me, well, no, we visualize time different. Oh wait, no. 
But why do you say boomer and above? But boomer, because Gen Z is at the bottom. Oh, oh, yeah. Gen Z, yeah. millennial, boomer, and above. But I'm saying boomer and below. Right, you are flipping it. Interesting. Yeah, we're, we're seeing. I wonder it. what that says about us. I don't know. You want to psychologist? Yeah, look, we got to look this up. Give us not really something in the comments. Anyways, it means nonsense or irrelevant talk. So this guy used it in Congress, like, oh, that's just a bunch of bunkum or something. Wow. Okay, I might start using that. Yeah, I feel like that could, if you don't say it correctly. Then it could be taken in the wrong way. Maybe. Like instead of a B and F. Funk? Yeah. But What's wrong with funk? You know. Feeling funky, 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 funky. All right. You are booming it up right now. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, flagpole ceremonies? That's where I heard that song a lot. Yeah. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> that was fun. Friday flagpole. You're, You're being st- a little chuggy right now, though. That was a, that was like the 2010s, man. <laughs> All right. The Cupid shuffle. Mm-hmm. Cha cha slide. Left foot. Left foot. Left foot. Left stomp. Yeah. Right foot. Left stomp. <laughs> I never understood that. Me neither. How do you do a left stomp with the right foot? I'm still waiting for version two to come out. He said it was coming out after every. We should do that. Do schools do flagpole ceremonies anymore, oh, or is I'm it sure like illegal do. now? Yeah. It's it was probably illegal at one point. It, well, no, I'm saying illegal now with everything going on. You know. What do you mean? Oh, well, just like anti-U.S. stuff, like oh, oh. flagpole bad. Oh, I don't know. No. They might have canceled. I it. bet it was illegal during COVID. We are not in school, well, of course, not illegal, but like. They weren't, even, they weren't even going to school. So it was canceled. We should bring Flagpole Friday back. On colleges, though. Yes. Like an entire college surrounds just one pole. Yeah. Honestly. That would be incredible. Yes, you say, what, the Pledge of Allegiance. And it's really just the whole school saying the Pledge of Allegiance. Uh-huh. Really? But I think it's more, it was announcements. And then other than that, it was like a big party. Yeah. Like I feel like the principal was out there dancing all the time. Mm-hmm. Like that's what the that's what it was. It was, it was like, hey, let's entertain all of these students right now, and let's make sure the students have fun. Yeah, yeah, I love that. That was great. Mm-hmm. Elementary school is the best. Yeah, it was. Mm-hmm. Dead. This is a new word. Yes, new word. Dead. Has it just been re reappropriated? Re. I don't know. Reappropriated? Spell it. Dead. D E D. Correct. Man, I thought I was going to get you on that no, one. How do you no, know that? No. You cause just you cuz it was too easy to Johnny spell. Depp. Explain. The dead man walking. And that was D E D? D E D. Was it actually dead no, man? I have no idea. <laughs> okay, well what does it mean? It means like Dude, that's hilarious. I can't talk right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. dead. It means something so hilarious that you die from laughter. Mm-hmm. And this originated from ancient Greece. Oh. A Greek painter named Zeusius laughed so hard at a portrait of that he died? a ugly woman. That he died? That he died. Oh my goodness. Isn't that crazy? That's so sad. It was just a it was just a painting of an ugly woman and he laughed so hard that he died. I wonder if he's the first guy to have died laughing. Yeah. Probably, probably. not, right? There's Yeah. There's probably been people old and elderly that have laughed and Oh yeah. Died, right? Mm-hmm. I think it's a condition it's also. Of, there's gotta be a name for that. Like an actual name. Yeah. Like yeah, they just they ended up killing themselves because of laughter. Well, wasn't the Joker movie? And that's what I mean. That's what we're trying to do. We're, yeah, we're trying to kill we, you. We fail that. every every episode, but we are trying. We're gonna commit man's laughter. Man's <laughs> laughter. <laughs> that's good. Yeah. Because the actual definition. Yeah. That's funny. But the Joker didn't he have a condition where he? Did you see the Joker movie? I did not. Whatever. No. Oh. It's a pretty crazy movie. Okay. But he. Was laughing so hard on the bus, he like gave someone his car that says, I have a condition that makes me not stop laughing. Hmm. So, yeah, but that's what dead means. Uh, okay. 
Yeah. Rest in peace to Zeus, Zeusius. Zeusius. Uh, well, he's remembered. I hope he's still laughing to this day. Well, that's the whole thing. Uh, that's why, like, you know the whole, um, you're only alive Oh yeah. until pe- the last person remembers you, uh-huh. right? Yeah. We just brought Zeusius back to life. Yeah. How many people think about Zeusius? It's on, it's on Wikipedia. Honestly, so. you could have made this all up. <laughs> I could have. <laughs> no. We're bringing a non-existent man to life. Mm. Just kidding. No, he's apparently a real person. Yeah. All right. Next one. You don't have to spell it. It's a phrase. Iron your shoelaces. Whoa. Yep. Okay, so this <laughs> phrase means when you're going out, you got to be so classy. So classy. Down to the point and down to the finer detail finer that you details. are ironing your shoelaces. Yes. Is that what it means? No. Oh. Okay. It means that you're working hard on the ranch, and there are pieces of wood that you carry, and the wood could drop and hurt your foot, so you have to iron your shoelaces in terms, you know, strengthen them because your foot might get crushed. Not even close. Okay. Uh, Do you want a sentence? Yeah, give me a sentence. With Time that. for me to iron my shoelaces. Be back in a bit. Oh, wow. That brings a whole new level to this ball game. Uh, <laughs> level to the ball game? What does that mean? <laughs> We're on the next level of baseball. Uh, we just got past level one. Level. Oh, level. See, I hear level, and I think like a like a like a level, like a like a oh. extra plate yeah or extra yeah yeah f- story Ooh, two-story baseball that's what i was th- that's what i was thinking <laughs> they have to run up the stairs when i think extra level to this ball game i'm thinking like they just added another story for more people to sit and watch the game oh i'm thinking they added another story to baseball, baseball. itself two-story baseball wow let's, can we do that yeah let's do it what if there's oh my gosh we should design new stadiums. Yes. A wipeout course. <laughs> no, that's not what I'm saying. For baseball, it's a wipeout course. For though. baseball, no. There's like a floating log. The, the bases, you have to go on floating logs yes. and stuff, run the bases. Yeah. No, I'm thinking like you got the outfield and you just duplicate it and you put it on top of each other. And yeah. so when someone hits the ball, it sometimes <laughs> goes to the just top, sometimes goes through. into the bottom. Yeah. That'd be fun. Yeah. Wow, we should do that. Yeah. We should commit the next 48 hours to designing new sports yes, stadiums. I'm going to break out my MATLAB. Why do you need MATLAB for this? <laughs> <laughs> That's what? You don't need MATLAB for that. Uh, what's another program? SolidWorks. SolidWorks. Yeah. Yes. Um, it's probably it's probably more a graphic design thing. I'm going to 3D print this whole stadium out. We just Photoshop it. We just ask AI to do it. Yeah. What are we doing? AI, build me a baseball stadium. Let's do that. Can we do an episode? Let's do that. Where we're, we're, we're modifying saying, sports to yes, make them better? Yes, we're modifying sports okay. and sports. Where we're modifying sports and we decide which sport is okay. wh- yeah. the original or the modified version. Oh, okay. And we try to convince people that, hey, in the future, this is what we want. Yes, we're It's investors. still the same old, same old sport. It's still got the old soul of the sport, but it's a little bit more entertaining. It's a more little bit more fun. Gen Z, if you will. Gen Z, but a boomer at heart. <laughs> what are you talking about? Okay, what? so iron, your shoelaces. iron my shoelaces. I gotta go iron. Uh, it means you have to go to the bathroom. Yes. Yes. How'd you know? I don't know. It just seems. Wow. Like, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. It means you're heading to the restroom. That is kind of 1920s around there. Oh, is it because when you sit down, you're looking at your shoelaces a little bit. You can uh, reach them. I did not. Maybe I didn't really think that. Oh. I just thought it meant like you gotta go. Do the small tasks like no one's gonna iron your shoelaces, but if you did, where would you do it? The bathroom? What I'm the not, heck? <laughs> I don't know. No, it makes more sense because you're squatting on the toilets. What if I'm peeing? Yeah. You, no. No. Yeah. So you're squatting on the toilet, and you can just easily reach your shoelaces. Maybe they played with their shoelaces because they didn't have phones. You know, I, 
You know, you might be right. Like, what did people do on the toy? We sh- I should have looked this up more. Yeah, you should. I just figured I knew what it meant. Yeah, like, your your dementia's getting a to dumb you, man. excuse. No, I thought it meant like fixing up the f- small things. That's what I thought too. Yeah, so but maybe how does that relate to going to the bathroom? It's like, oh, I gotta go make sure I look okay that my buttons are correct. Oh, right. Like I gotta go iron my shoelaces. Like that's ridiculous. No but one's ever gonna not do going that. To the- Bathroom? It's an excuse to go to the bathroom. Okay, that makes you're, a If you're going to do sense. that, you're going to do that in the bathroom. Okay, yeah. I recovered, recovered. Okay. Well, here's a little bit of Gen Z lingo. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. WAP. W-H-O-P. No. W-O-P. GWAP. Oh, with the G? GWAP. G-U-O-P. No. Wait. No. Goo up. G U W O P. No. G U O P. No. U P. No. Uh, e P. I P. You've used every vowel except the right one. Z P. <laughs> y P. No, I'm just joking. Z is not a vowel. Uh, Are you kidding me? A. A. Yes. A. Go a a pa. Go a a pa. Da what does it bang, mean? Walla walla bing bang. Um, I have no clue. Well, you want me to use it in a sentence? Yes, please. All right. So this is a quote from the prestigious Lil Yachty. Oh, I like Lil Yachty. I know you know my slogan. If it ain't about guap, I'm gone. That doesn't really help. If uh, it ain't about guap. I'm out of here. I just keep thinking guac. Like, let me give you another example. I'm only here for the guap. The guac. No, the guap. At, I, I'm doing this podcast for the guap. Well, I go to parties only if there is guac. Okay. Lil Yachty might go to parties only if there's guap for him. Okay, so it's a noun. Yeah. I'm doing this podcast for the guap. Is it like clout? No. I walk around. I got guap on my mind. Vibes. No. Good vibes. No. Money. 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 Yes. Nah. I'm doing everything for the guap. I don't like it. I don't like it. Well, that's what it means. Yeah. It's popularized by rap song. It's a lot of cash money. You know, full on stacks of bands on bands on bands. Okay. Cash money. If yeah. I ain't thinking about the guap. Then I don't think about the guap. I'm not a fan of that one. I think it's a. It's it kind of. It kind of. It's too much. I just think guac every time. It rolls off the back of the tongue. Uh, some say guac is money, so it's expensive. It yeah. might be just as you could use those interchangeably. Guap, guac. No. Yeah. Interchangeable. Hit me with the next word. All right. Um. Sock Dollager. Wow. This Sock Dollager. S O C K D O L A G A T L E. You were close. Sock and then D A L L A G E R or D O L O G E R. Something like that. My brain cannot process letters. So this means. 1830s. That's the origin. 1830s. <laughs> yeah, Boomer Plus. Are you aware of... <laughs> what? Do you know what... Boomer is like 1940. There's not... Yeah, but then I'm getting to stuff you know. The bee's knees. Yeah, that's true. You know, there's only so much you don't know. Yeah, so Sock Dulliger. This is... I really hope this is a fine word. This is a rascal. Someone who's... Ugh. He's a sock dollager. No. This is someone who steals your socks. This is where your socks go after no. you get done washing them. No. Mm. Can you use it in a sentence? Sure. The professor said that was one sock dollager of a story. Ooh, that was a long, eventful story. Kind that was a of... awesome fire story. Yeah. Okay, now you're like getting exciting. there. exciting. Yeah, something that is truly remarkable or impressive or... Something that settles a matter, a decisive blow. Whoa. Yeah. So in arguments, they really mm. they really had them with the sock dollar. Yeah. Hit the them end. with hit them with the sock dollar. Hit them with a sock. 
Yeah. That reminds me of um, what was that show? The, where the girl had the the butter in the sock. I think it was like iCarly. iCarly. Yeah, I, that was hilarious to me. Yeah. Filling a big sock with. Yeah. Why? With a butter? frozen thing of butter. We should do that. Yeah. We need to bring our. Actually, I think that's fighting a, game to the next. That level. was a weapon, right? People used to put rocks in them or something. Oh uh, yeah, probably. Yeah, we shouldn't do that. Yeah. No. Now we just have water we, bottles. Yeah. We don't promote violence. Metal water bottles. Even Those... with even with butter. Yeah. No yeah. violence. All right, that's it. Like, that's it for you? No. Oh. That's it for that one. All right. This one I'm not sure you're gonna get. It's a hard one to spell. I don't think I've got any of them. L. E L he. No. Huh? L. L. Correct. Good job. Mm -hmm. You're not so as old as I thought you were. Yeah, you got the L. So the L is the opposite of W, which is the opposite of L. That's easy. easy. I use it. I use it. Yeah? Yeah. What does it mean? Dude, you're about to take an L right now. You're about to take a loss. Yeah. Short for loss. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. What's W mean? Dub. The win. You're right. You know what I don't like about W? What? It starts with a D. That's true, yeah. But it doesn't. Mm -hmm. Like, it doesn't. The W, you know? But if you actually say it out loud, you're thinking with a D. That that has always bothered me, ever since a a kid. I think W is the only word that you can spell... Or, sorry, W is the only letter that you can... W is the only letter that you can spell with other letters. Right? Spell A with other letters. E Y. Oh, yeah, wait. I don't know. A B with other letters. Without B. I can't. Yeah. But W, that's like a... C. That's a word. C? S-E-A. Yes. Done. Okay. Yeah, W's a little different, though. Yeah. All right, this next one's kind of hard. Right. And to be honest, I don't even understand it. (laughs) Oh, gosh. (laughs) Um... Ready? Mm-hmm. All my eye and Betty Martin. <laughs> that was a sentence. <laughs> You're supposed to use it in a sentence after I ask you to. No, that's the whole phrase. All my eye and Betty Martin. <laughs> all my eye and Betty Martin. All my eye and all my eye <laughs> and Betty Martin. All my eye <laughs> and Betty Martin. And Betty Martin. Okay. If you're alive and you know what this means, you are like 200 years old. Yeah. This is... How did this phrase get to you? This is like a paragraph. It's not a phrase. All my eye. Yeah, but it is. Okay. So he's He's... got all his attention plus some on a certain subject. Yeah. You're not going to get it. Can you use it in a sentence? I can use a passage of where it was. Okay, sure. Um, I don't quite remember when this was or who did the passage, but all my eye, all my eye. Here's a heretic dog, but adds Betty Martin. It's it's had multiple variants throughout history. It's trying to grab someone's attention. No, it's too long for me to decipher. I can't. Yeah, it's 1780s. 1780s. Wow, <laughs> really, Boomer? Yeah. Holy cow! This sort is, of. It's it's this been is the oldest Boomer alive. It's had <laughs> it's had a bunch of variants over the years, okay. <laughs> the past decade. Who is Betty Martin? I no one knows. What? No one knows who Betty Martin is. It sounds like someone but who makes pancakes. In all of its recordings, it's something along the lines of that is nonsense or something unbelievable. Okay. So I think in the passage, he's a heretic dog, but adds Betty Martin. It means like he's a heresy, but he's also he's a heresy. He's a he's, he's a heretic. He's also faking it. Yeah, he's also adding a bunch of fluff, a bunch of nonsense, a bunch of okay. unbelievable. So maybe is it like satire? He's being satirical. I don't know, but where did Betty Martin come from? Who is Betty Martin? Betty Martin, if you're out there. We got a spot right here for you. We want to ask you some things. Yes. How did you... Oh, unbelievable. Maybe she doesn't exist. But who started her? It's like a Frindle. Explain Frindle. You know Frindle. I don't know Frindle. The book, Frindle. The guy Mm. wanted to create a new word, and he did for pen. 
Ooh, and then he convinced oh. all of the earth to yeah, call a yeah, pen yeah. a frindle. This is a frindle now. I remember Someone that. did that with Betty Martin. It obviously did not survive. Yeah. But it's it sort of survived. Seventeen thirty? Seventeen eighty. Seventeen. And I guess sa- sailors used to use it too. Interesting. But yeah. Wow. Yep. Well, we got two more. I got one more. Oh, I got two more. Oh did we God. see seven? Do you not know how to count? No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, Seven's two, three, four, time. five, six, seven, seven eight. Oh, yeah. Gosh, yeah. Did eight. Gosh darn it. I actually have three more. Okay. I'm about to be a little. You really? <laughs> <laughs> I just have one I want to say. Okay. I'm about to say one, not from Gen Z, but from Gen Alpha. The new boys on the block. That's the newest gen? Oh, yeah. How do you get these were kids more born than after 2010? It's unbelievable, right? That is. A, that's How is that possible? All my eyes and Betty Martin. How that's do you be born after 2010? You don't. Not possible. Yeah. Uh, Phantom tax. Phantom tax. Okay. You already sort of said this to me, and I had no idea what it meant. Mm-hmm. Phantom tax. No, phantom tax. Phantom. 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 Uh, Phantom Tax. I'll give you a Phantom uh, Tax. Hint. Phantom is, is this a popular word? Do people know this? Yes. Yeah, it's in a oh viral song. Is it? Oh yeah. Would I know the song? Uh, no. F a n n e m t a x. Sorry. Okay. What? F a n n e m t a x. No, that's close. F a n e m t a x. That was very close. F A N U M T A S. Yes, it's correct. I'm surprised you didn't go with the P H. Uh, that was well. I, I would have said P H. I knew it wasn't phantom. Yeah. All right. So what does it mean, though? It means. Does it have anything to do with money? A little bit. I don't want that. Not directly, though. It means. It means I want to keep as much money as possible. Don't be taxing it. No. Give no. me that. Give me that. You phantom. think Gen Alpha? Really Give me cares that about taxes? Phantom tax. Well, they should. Their taxes are going to be the worst of all of us. They're at most 13 years old. Oh, 13 years old are using this? Well, they're... Yeah, I guess so. They're born 2010 or... I have no clue. Not a clue. Okay, Phantom is a person. Phantom is, is a, a person? a streamer, apparently. I'm sorry, Phantom. Yeah, sorry about that. Okay. What else? Phantom tax. He has his own tax. How does do that have? give you any hints? No. How do you have your own tax? He taxes other people. How does he tax people? He just... I, I'm not seeing it. Okay, so basically this is just when this streamer goes on other people's streams, takes a little bit of food for himself, and he says, hey, that's the phantom tax. Oh, he just steals their viewers for a bit? No, something? he steals the food. How does he steal their food? Well, let's let's say they have a plate of food in front of them. He he always gets a little beat. Oh, so this bit, is in bit, person piece. In person. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's a stream, he's a streamer. What? A live, so in per he, so he live streams. There's someone yeah. else live streaming in the other room. Oh yeah, and he yeah. goes and takes their food. Mm-hmm. This is like a live streaming whole house. Yes. Yeah. Is that popularly used though? That word. It is used in. Just strange ways. It doesn't. Um, I'm babber blasted. Babber blasted. Yeah, I don't understand. These words have definitions. They have origins, dude. But they are never used correctly. I know. Because they're just used for whatever. What to describe anything? Yeah, change of uh. Forget that. For some reason, this popped into my head. Where did the gobstopper go? Wow, you just opened up a whole can of beans. Where is the huh. gobstopper? Is that still a candy that's made? Probably. I've never, I haven't seen it. I never had a gobstopper in my entire life. Wow. Those I are disgusting. I don't know what made me think of that. Go- oh, I liked gobstoppers. Oh, no, they're disgusting. Wow, that's a whole, they get that's a whole word in itself. Gross. Dude, words are crazy. Mm-hmm. But uh, <laughs> anyway, tell me what other generation of 13 and below kids have changed the English language 
you know, at this scale, at this magnitude? <sighs> not a lot. Probably it's, not a lot. It's honestly fascinating. Yeah, that's crazy. Because if I'm like, we're in trouble. Let's we go are back in trouble. Food. As a as a boomer, we're in trouble. Yes, I mean you got your social security, so you're set. Barely. Mm. Yeah, I'm trying to draw from it right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah My hip is all torn all right. out. Someone tore, tore out my hip. So I got three more. <laughs> what? I got three more. Well, okay. I got. I, we can we can do the next two fast. Let's do rapid fire. Uh, finest frog's hair. Finest frog's hair. Uh, this man. You know what I said it's okay. What? Say it fine as frog's hair. Fine as. F- whoa. This this is someone who's not fine at all. They are ugly. They make ancient Greek people die of laughter. <laughs> Zeusius. Yeah. <laughs> no. Okay. Mm-mm. Uh, explain it. Uh, Using a sentence. I have a better flow of spirits this morning, and in fact, feel as fine as frog's hair. Okay, so this is similar to the phrase, skin of your teeth, where they say something that doesn't exist. So, this is someone who's happy, who's nice and happy. Mm, Well, it's not really a noun, but... Yeah, something is very fine or delicate. Oh, okay, that makes sense. frog's hair is, like, non-existent. Yeah. So if they did have hair, it'd be super, super fine, right? And so if you feel fine as frog's hair, you're feeling like super delicate. Oh, delicate? Yeah. Like emotionally? A little bit of everything, yeah. Interesting. 1860s. Boomer, boomer. 1860s, wow. The boomers of the boomers. That was the Civil War. Yeah. You think that's where it originated? Over that phrase? Civil War, yeah. Maybe. So they were fighting over frogs? silver. I don't. I've never understood why they named it silverware. <laughs> silverware, and then it passed on to silverware. And now we all have the silverware. Yep. Because of the Civil War. There's yep. a little bit of history for you. Yeah, you are quite the historian. Yes. Uh, all right. Chew the fat. Chew the fat. Yep. This is something. Do something you don't want to do. Yeah. Okay. This is. Uh. Uh, you, uh, you in a sentence. We sat in the bar most of the evening chewing the fat. Oh, this is tobacco. They're eating the tobacco. <laughs> no. Uh, they're just munching on something. Nope. Mm-mm. Just random nope. popcorn. Nope. Uh, chewing the fat. Oh, gossip. Kind of. Okay. Engage in small talk. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so, so there's there's two possible origins for this. 16th century wealthy families would invite people over for a good fatty cut of pork to tell people they're wealthy. Okay. And decide to kind of show people they're wealthy. Yeah. That might be fake. So the other possible uh, origin is like um, back in the day, army, you know, people in the army or services or whatever, um, they would be grumbling about, you know, higher orders over like meals like lunch and dinner and they would chew the fat there talking about their complaints oh okay yep. that's interesting and then last one uh, I was I was told I can't say this one but um, I'm gonna say it anyways do you know what noodle juice is noodle juice yeah I could guess take a guess I'm not going to say the guess that I have in my mind though Okay. I'm going to censor my own thoughts. <laughs> okay. Well, it's not as bad as you think. So this is just the water after you cook some good pasta, mm. and it kind of gets all gross. No. Uh, using a sentence. I don't even have a sentence prepared. Okay, um, we'll make up a sentence. Make up a sentence? Yeah. Um, we sat down together at the cafe and shared some noodle juice. I don't know. This is uh, yogurt. What? No. Coffee? No. Is it a noun? Yeah, you're close. Is it like an object or something you ingest? It's a liquid. Hence juice. Soda. No. Milkshake. No. You're like close. Water. Close. Chocolate milk. No, you said coffee. What's coffee? What's, tea. Yes, tea. Why is that called noodle juice? I don't know. I have no idea. When was this originated? No idea. I told you I had this one, but I didn't do any research on it. Where'd you find it? We from? can look it up right now. Okay, sure. 
I got all mine from Wikipedia. Oh, the most trustworthy. Yes, but then they just had a lot of the basic ones, so I went somewhere else for the more obscure ones. Yeah, noodle juice origin. I'm kind of scared. In a hilarious instance of 1920s slang, noodle juice meant tea. It's hilarious. Um, don't look up the Urban Dictionary one. Okay, yeah. <laughs> it's bad. Um, an intriguing twist on a simple beverage. They put noodles in the tea? I don't know. Where the Is turn? that where ramen came Maybe from? Maybe we got to edit this whole thing out. Yeah. Honestly. Well, don't use that last word. Yeah, don't use it. Forget I said it. Okay, Brandon, I'm not going to find it. I kind of want to end this thing with a joke. Is that okay? Go for it, man. So, let me just uh, refresh. Do I need my glasses for this? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I say we both put our glasses on. Okay. So, my friend the other day came up to me. Oh, yeah. And he was like, hey, I got this golden goose. I'm like, sweet, man. Let's start making some money. And he's like, yeah. Yep. I said, what have what you been doing with it? He's like, oh, just, just making breakfast. I was like, what? Why aren't you like selling the eggs or something? He goes, uh, they're regular eggs. The, the goose is golden, not the eggs. Are you done? Yes. Oh, <laughs> that was the joke? Yeah, plug. <laughs> okay. Um... Bad joke. There's no funny portion in it. Therefore, not a joke. Not funny. Better luck next time. Well, on Hi. that high note. On that high note. Good <laughs> night, everyone. Thank you for watching. Skedaddle. So sorry. Skibbity. So s- apologize Let's for this. Skibbity out this of here. This whole episode. Yes. But hopefully, you learned something this man new. And his. Thanks for watching. Forms. Thanks for listening. We're on Spotify, Instagram, Spotify, YouTube, and TikTok. Jupiter City out. Keep it skibbity, my dudes. No, don't say that. Why? Skippy was recalled. <laughs> I don't know.